Probably. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is actually a topic that I've wanted to talk about for a long time because I think it's cool. Hopefully other people do as well. But there was a patron named Steve. Steven, uh, the other day, sent an email through and said, Hey, Brian, uh, can you explain to me what an amp hour is? Like, what does it mean? What is the definition? And I think it's a very common question that relates to boating and power systems. So it's a cool opportunity to talk about. Okay, so this is the house battery bank for Delos. Uh, each one of these is 100 amp hours. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries. Eight times 100 would be 800 amp hours. So an amp hour, what the hell is an amp hour? Um, it's basically a measurement of charge taken out of the battery over time. So imagine if you had like our, our water tank on Delos is a thousand liters of water. If we used 100 liters of water for an hour, how long would it be before we run out of water? It would be like 10 hours, right? 100 times 10 is a thousand. Well, this is exactly the same. So if we have 800 amp hours of storage capacity in these batteries, if we used 800 amps, we would kill the batteries in one hour. If we used you know, 80 amps, it would take 10 hours and so on and so on. So you just do the math. So what we're trying to figure out here is of all the things that we have on the boat, what is the consumption and amp hours of each device? So what are some things that we use on, on Delos? The refrigerator. Okay, so we have, I'm just gonna put fridge. I got that one right. Good job. What else do we have? Toilet. Toilet. Because that's electric. Oh, we, well, have we have Mac. And then we have PC. Okay, so we have Macs <laughs> and we have PCs. For the next part, I got to introduce you to a really simple equation. Power, which is measured in watts, equals current times volts. If you can figure out the current that everything uses and multiply that by the time we use it, we'll end up with the number of amp hours that we consume every day on Delos. And this sensor right here is monitoring our DC power. So it gives us our battery voltage. It gives us the amount of power we're currently using. It gives us the amount of DC current we're using and the battery state of charge. So what it's saying right now is pretty much the only thing that we have on is the navigation system for the boat. And it's using 2.7 amps. Just, and we're not running anything else. I've turned off all the fridges. I've turned off the freezers. Um, we have some lights on. Maybe I'll turn yeah. those off too. So lights and fans are now off. So now we're sitting at about two amps, which makes sense because it says we're using 52 watts of power, right? Two amps times 26, two times 26 would be 52, right? Mm -hmm. So our equation is, is good. Now, is now that we know that we're using two amps just with this turned on, we're gonna have Karen flush the toilet in the back and we're gonna see how many amps the toilet uses when we flush it. Yes. What's the power being put out there? 35. Volts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, how am I supposed to know? Brian, just explain the equation. <laughs> But we won't know until we see the thing. Okay, good, you can stop. So it uses six amps, just the toilet flushing. Um, six times 26. 154. So it's 156 watts. Now, the whole purpose of this is to actually figure out the amount of amp hours that we're using. How often do we use the toilet? We say we, we flush it for five seconds, right? To, to flush the bowl out. Mm -hmm. Let's do 10. 10 times, okay, so that's, for four people, that's 40 toilet flushes a day. Oh, right? 10 per person. Well, okay. I don't know, you, you tell me. I, th I think I like, probably, let's say once an hour. I probably use it like four. Karen's once, once an hour. Once an hour? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no, just, between just, all of us. Oh, not okay, just me. Okay. No, that's let's just round up to 30 flushes a day. 30 flushes a day. Is everybody happy, seconds, with happy with that? For four that's people a lot, on the boat. But okay. You have to have more than four. So days. 30 flushes times five seconds each is 150 seconds. So if we use six amps when we flush it, for 0.042 hours, we just multiply that 
And so the amp hours for the toilet is 0.25 amp hours. Uh, the ah. fridge uses 1.8 amps. Okay. And we're guessing probably that it's running for about half the day or maybe a little bit less because at night it's a little cooler. So maybe the fridge is running 10 hours a day. Okay. So if it uses 1.8 amps and you run it for 10 hours, that means it uses 1.8 times 10 or 18 amp hours. A day. Right. So it uses 6.2 amps. So if we use 80 liters of water today, this pump puts out five liters per minute. 1.64 for the water pump. So we use significantly more power on the water pump than the toilet. Yeah. Okay. Every light on the boat, turn them on. Yeah, yeah fridge freezes off. Power. <laughs> <laughs> So each one is like 0.1 yep. or so. Okay, I think that's all of them. So we're at negative 5.3. Okay, so we're using 3.3 amps, right? Mm -hmm. For just every LEDs. light on the boat. So all of these things on the boat have been running off of just DC power, straight power off the battery. But if we use anything that's AC alternating current like you'd have in a house, you need to use a power inverter. So that changes, uh, in our case, 24 volts DC, it changes it to, you know, on our boat, we're a, two, we're a European boat, so it's 230 or 220 volts AC. So what does that mean? That means with just the inverter turned on, even if we're not using anything, it's using 0.3 amps just for the inverter. So 3.6 amp hours just because it's not 100% efficient. It's turned on, it's probably generating a little bit of heat in the engine room. Brian's computer is turning on right now. Whoa, power sucker. So if we're using four amps times four hours, that's 16 amp hours. Well, again, let me shut mine down and we'll, we'll start with Kaz's. It's using like one amp, right? Does that look right? Do you need another reason to <laughs> get dang back, people? Okay, so the PC, <laughs> the super, the super brick, the super computer, <laughs> uses four amps. Kazatron's Mac device is using one amp. Mac and does the same thing, and it's a fraction of the size. I don't know what the deal is. Whatever. Uh, let's say you also use it four hours a day. Kaza probably uses her computer like six. Six hours, hours a, day. a day. Let's go five. So we're gonna put five amp hours for the Mac and 16 amp hours for the PC. That's just embarrassing. Okay, whatever. The fridge, 18 amp hours. The toilet, 0.25 amp hours. Two Macs on board are using 10 amp hours. So times two equals 10. Two PCs are using 32 amp hours, all right? Water pump, 1.64. Freezer, we'll just say 24. All the lights, 13. Uh, what else we got? Ice machine, 24. Inverter, 3.6. So let's just add these things up real quick and see what we come up. There's obviously a lot more things and when we're sailing, we're using more because we have the autopilot, we have all the other instruments on. Uh, GPS and other navigation, but that's a whole different ballgame, right? Yeah, you but could we also... don't usually have all the lights on during the day and like all right. these things, right? So we're, we're just, we're doing like an add anchor configuration here yeah. because we could also do the furlers, we could do the bow thruster, we could do the, the anchor windlass, uh, all of these things, right? You have to think of everything, but we're just doing the normal add anchor stuff. 130 amp hours is what we use in a normal day if we're editing videos and stuff. If our capacity is 400 amp hours. Hey, wait a second there, Captain Brion. I thought you said we had 800 amp hours on Delos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries. Eight times 100 would be 800 amp hours. Delos has a 24 volt system, but the amp hour rating supplied by the manufacturers is for a 12 volt battery. If we use this equation to calculate the watt hours for the battery bank, we can show that 400 amp hours at 24 volts is exactly the same capacity as 800 amp hours at 12 volts. 130 divided by 400. So we're using about 30% of our total capacity every day. 130 divided by 200. So we're using 
65% of our usable capacity every day just based on those numbers. So what's the difference between total capacity and usable capacity? Well, it turns out if you have lead acid batteries, the total capacity and usable capacity are two very different things. If you have 400 amp hours of capacity, like we do, only about half of that is usable. So if you look at this, if this scale is 400 up here, zero here, this is 100% charged. Right about here, we never try and take our batteries below that. And that's, this graph sort of goes like this. It's an exponential curve leading down. Now the reason why that's important is because the lower you cycle your batteries, the less cycles you get out of them, right? So if you're hard on your batteries and you're always taking them all the way flat, you're, they're gonna last something like, you know, 200 cycles. And if you're cycling them once a day, that's 200 days, they're gonna last not very long. Whereas if you only take them down to like 50%, you can get something like, you know, I don't remember what the number is. I think it's like 1000 cycles. We'll actually, we'll try and grab a chart, a real chart from a battery and show you, show exactly what it looks like. So that's the trade-off. So if you only let your batteries get down to 50%, you can get them to last like a lot longer. We need to. Yeah. But the nice thing is we have solar pumping in power, we have wind pumping in power, and so that's why some days we can go without running the generator, or most days we can go without running the generator, and certainly if we're not editing a lot, Delos can sit here indefinitely just off solar and wind. I think that's probably a whole other video in itself. All right, Kaza, for sure, this is gonna be one take this one time, all right. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I sure hope you learned as much as I did. If you liked the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up because it helps us to know if we should make more of these kinds of videos. Any questions or comments, just pop them below. I'll do my best to answer. Ciao.